Hi folks, Tim Conti here from Cloud Collaboration Consultants. Hope you're doing or having a great day today. So on today's video, we are going to cover a case study we did for a Berkshire Hathaway company where we helped them replace an aging, uh, expensive, hard to manage contact center with a new as a service cloud-based contact center solution from one of the industry leaders. And I'm gonna take you through, and this will be a quick video today. I'm gonna take you through um, the steps we kind of did for the Berkshire Hathaway company in replacing um, their legacy technology. And a big part of it, part of the solution was uh, the amount of cost savings we were able to drive, uh, which was one in excess of $500,000 um, at the same time, giving them access to new technology to power their contact center, add things like AI, self-service, email support. Um, but the main challenge with all case studies are driven off the, the, the pain points, right? Was the solution and their demographic of their buyers that were, reaching out to their contact center was changing over time. Um, there was a lot more millennials um, that were contacting the help desk that just flat out won't call, won't use a phone. Heaven forbid they won't sit on hold, that's for sure. Uh, so agent callback um, is a nice feature that was implemented. But there were some hard requirements that the Berkshire Hathaway company was looking to do. And the first one was uh, reduce the number of calls into the contact center by 5%. They wanted AI self-service or even outside of AI, because that's already an overused term. They wanted to encourage SMS and email and other forms of communication so they could cut down on the number of live call center agents that they had in the environment. So that was driver number one. Number two was to increase the customer uh, satisfaction score by 10%. And that's hard to measure, right? But they measured it with their NPS score, net promoter score. I won't get into what that is. Hopefully you know what the NPS is. Um, if you don't, you can Google it and see. But um, that's how they're going to measure their current state versus their future state. Um, and we also were looking to and performed a um, or delivered a solution, excuse me, that increased the customer care agent productivity by 15%. Now, how do we do that? Traditionally, a lot of call center or contact centers, and this was the case here, where you had different agents doing different things. One was on chat, one was on email, one was on phone, and it really was based on their skill set, right? Well, we changed that by providing software uh, internally for these agents that was super easy to use. It allowed them to then uh, cross train and reduce the number or increase the productivity across on an agent by agent basis by giving the tools they need to support their end customers. And then reduce the cost. We reduced the cost per contact um, by 7%. That was a goal of theirs as well. Um, and that really was around just streamlining the operation, providing a software based solution that was more efficient, more adaptable to today's environment, and providing a lot of flexibility. So you know, in the end, um, we delivered on all the things they were trying to achieve by moving to a new solution. Um, we helped them with everything from the evaluation of the vendors, NICE, CX-1, Genesis 5.9, to name a few. We also analyzed um, companies like Sprinkler, um, which is an up-and-comer in the market. Um, then we helped them implement and then most importantly, adopt the technology. A lot of consultants will leave uh, during the most important part and that is the adoption. So um, that's what I have for you today as far as the case study. If you'd like to talk about your current call center operation, how we might improve it, um, definitely drop a comment or a book, click the link to book a call, and we will get you squared away. And I did want to share um, one other uh, thing with you as well is our testimonial. So obviously, um, let me reduce this a little bit for you. Move this down here. Um, we have a, a number of clients, but I first wanted to share um, 
the contact center one we just did. Um, they said, I hired Tim to help with our contact center as a service and unified communications project. It was a complicated project where we wanted to upgrade our technology. We also wanted a good value for our investment. There were several departments and many different stakeholders involved. Tim offered expert guidance in helping us navigate the decision-making process, help us make the right decision on time and within our budget. He kept the vendors on track and saved me a ton of time in the project. Could not have done it without him and his team. He's a true professional and a delight to work with. Aw. I would highly suggest working with them. Um, that's one reference. Um, the second is the Planet Group is a uh, $500 million uh, recruiting um, company based in Illinois. And we help them with a Zoom phone implementation. Uh, we're a staffing company growing both organically and via acquisition. Two to three acquisitions per year. IT department, which runs lean, does not have time to take on large projects such as evaluating providers. We relied on Tim and his industry expertise to evaluate the major players and help develop a short list of vendors to focus on based on our requirements. Tim guided us through the vendor review process and managed the project through the end. When we signed with our vendor of choice, we ended up saving over 10000 per month with the project. We kind of succeeded without Tim's expertise. With that, and I appreciate that testimonial. What it tells me is that we helped with expertise and time savings. Listen, none of us have time to run these projects, even if they're strategic to the business. There are just too many projects to run. You got to secure your network in terms of preventing hacks. You need to keep the lights on. I can go on and on. You need to staff and keep your employees happy in your call center. There's a million things you have to do. Workforce management, you name it. It's hard. And that's where we help. We're going to project manage the uh, entire project for you, evaluation all the way to adoption. And then lastly, um, one from Capco, my friend Ben. Um, Capco is a WePro company. Can I be more impressed with the value Tim provided when we migrated from a Cisco call manager to a new unified communication solution? We migrated 600 users globally and saved a million dollars by eliminating voice trunks and Cisco maintenance. Tim helped us every step of the way from start to finish. When we have an issue, Tim's able to escalate directly with the cloud provider. After the successful VoIP migration, we rely on Tim and his team to help with SD-WAN and fiber globally. What I take out of Ben's testimonial, and he's been a client for over 15 years, is that he was looking for a better escalation path, right? The minute you sign a contract with any provider, the minute the ink's dry, they're going to do a number of things. One, the account manager you met in the beginning they're going to reassign them. There's a reason why they, he or she was really good and they want them on to the next one. So although you might have felt uh, very important during the entire process, um, they are going to shuffle you to someone else. Um, we're the constant. We don't go away. I've been Ben overseeing Ben's um, telecom expenses and his voice and his data and his contact center and SD-WAN from Ariaka all of it for 15 years. When a vendor slips up, we have a direct path to these vendors to help with any kind of issues um, they might be having. So that's the service that we're able to pass along to you as well. I appreciate uh, you listening today. Drop a comment and let us know what projects you have going on and we'll see if we can help you out. Thanks. Have a great day.